I have always been so fascinated by traditional media. What does it take to get on TV? Who do you need to know? What kind of person do you need to be? Well, I got the most amazing opportunity this past week to be a featured expert on the Tamron Hall Show on ABC. Insert freak out here, I know. I learned so much in the process and I wanna share that experience with you so that you can pick up some tips for getting brand exposure through your own traditional press opportunities. Good morning, good life. Welcome back to this episode of The Inspiring Influencer on Amy TV, where we help ambitious professionals like you to share your story with the world and captivate a community. I have been a brand strategist and content creator for a decade. Throughout that time, uploading a lot of YouTube videos, more than a thousand. So on-camera presence is not a skill I am lacking. I'm not bragging, I just do this a lot. I have things to say, I wanna share value with the world, and so I look at the lens of a camera like it's a person and I go, hey, let me tell you all the things, and this is what we do. Doing something other than uploading a video to YouTube is as clear as mud to me, okay? I really, really was excited when I started to crack the code on this. Before I share how I was offered a TV appearance and what I did to convince the producers I was a good fit for that, I gotta share with you how I became qualified to be able to do something like that. What preconceived notions do you have about getting on TV or getting press for yourself? Share that in the comments below. I know for me, I thought you have to know someone, you have to have a ton of experience, and you really have to have like a doctorate for you to be remotely interesting to TV and the types of things that they talk about. But it really turns out this may not be the case for everyone. The person that really taught me this for the first time is my dear friend and media maven, Christina Nicholson. She came on the podcast and shared a little bit about what it actually takes to get press. Don't you feel like there's a lot uh, to grapple with in terms of how do I get ready from a mental standpoint to pitch myself to media? When you see somebody featured in the media, whether they're on a podcast, TV, online article, the, the perception you have of them is they are there because they're a big deal. So just think, people will have that same perception of you. When you get this coverage, they're gonna think you're there because you're a big deal. And the thing is, is that you don't get there by being a big deal. You turn into a big deal by getting there. Do you know mm. what I mean? Like people yeah. need to see you. They need to know about you to do business with you. People can't do business with you if they don't know about you. And this gets you known because it gets you in front of people. So with my goals in mind and this motivation from Christina, I started to try to figure out what does it actually take? to make this happen. How do you get on TV? And here is what I discovered. The four P's for getting press. Prepare, pursue, present, and then parlay. Let's start with prepare. How do you prepare to be somebody who would get featured in some sort of press? It doesn't even have to be TV, it could be radio, it could be podcasts, it could be an article. Ask yourself, what do I wanna be known for? You need to know what you know really well, and then you need to focus on what you know really well and not question that because you're going to do a lot of sharing what you know. Like I said, I've been creating for a very long time. I've been making videos, podcasts, blog posts. I have been on other people's podcasts a couple times talking about things. And so the more I focused about what I knew really well and the more I found ways to share it, the more I was preparing to be able to get some sort of grander exposure through press. It gives you an opportunity to get a lot of practice for one, and that's great because I don't think the first thing you want out the gate is to be a TV interview, okay? Because it's like really kind of intimidating. But more than that, it's really starting to lay the groundwork for who you are and what you want to be known for. And that's really important for people back checking your credibility. Probably one of the biggest things in the process was what is your book about? What can we trust from you? What do you talk about on your podcast? I got a lot of questions like this because Shows need to be able to point back to the fact that they know you know what you're talking about when they need to get you into their segment in a really short period of time. So the more you share what you know, the more you're actually preparing yourself, not just with practice, but with creating that credibility. And really, what does it take to be credible? You don't have to go get a certificate from someone and you don't have to be featured in a certain outlet. You need to present your ideas to an audience and offer value unconditionally, generously, and that is what builds your credibility. 
credibility. The more you do that, the more there is to look at for you if somebody is looking at you for a very, very legitimate platform. Second is pursue. How do you pursue press opportunities? A producer or a reporter has stories they need to work on every single day. They're working on a story now and they're working on one they have to do tomorrow. When people were getting in contact with me for this particular feature, it was about a week and a half in advance, which is good because I had to book a flight. <laughs> like It was very important that I had a little bit of notice, but they may have said they needed me within 24 hours to get to New York. And you have to try to figure out Am I gonna fit into that? They're creating stories based on what's popular right now. They're creating ideas for new segments based on what is trending. So for you to get on someone's radar like a producer or a reporter, to me it seems as though you need to pay attention to where they're paying attention. And right now, they're paying attention to the internet in a big way. So the more you focus on where people are talking about different subjects and what they're talking about, that's where people who are booking these opportunities are also paying attention. So they know what the pulse is right now. One really, 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 really great and easy way to find out what a producer or a reporter needs right now is to subscribe to Hero. Hero stands for Help a Reporter Out. It is an email newsletter. It goes out three times a day. And believe it or not, this opportunity that I got for daytime television was in Hero. Okay? I got an email saying, Social media influencers for daytime TV. Uh, pick me. Now, here's the thing. You have to think like the producer or the reporter. Read what they're looking for. Read what they wanna know more about and answer that question. If you see that somebody is interested in a story and they're looking for certain types of experts or people with the experience that has to do with that story, tell them what they want to know. If you are pursuing this opportunity, you are not pursuing selling yourself. You are pursuing making their story Better. Now your story will be a part of this story, but only if you focus on what the deliverables are for the producer and the reporter. They have people to report to. They have ex executives. They have hosts of shows that they need to talk to and teach them how to talk about these things when they're on camera as well. And you are going to help make that segment or that piece better. So if you spend all of your time pursuing something by saying how cool you are, you're probably not going to get it. But if you see what the question is, especially in a Hero email, or you see that someone's looking for a person with a certain type of experience, then weigh in on that exact thing and only that. Because everything else, your links, your website, your social, all of that stuff, if you've been doing number one, preparation, will help to show the person that you're legit and you should be considered. Just for fun, because I know what you're probably thinking right now, oh, well, I, I still just don't think that even if I looked at Harrow that there would even be opportunities for people like me. Let me just, I'm gonna give you real time examples right now. This is the latest Harrow, the Tuesday morning edition. Under business and finance, it says, how do 5% cash back credit cards work? Fortune Magazine. If you know, because you're a financial expert about how 5% cash back credit cards work, they're looking for you. There's so many things. Forbes gift guide, the best kitchen gadgets for home chefs who have everything. Do you know what would contribute to that? Shoot the email. All you have to do is subscribe to this email and get a feel for what different reporters and different outlets are looking for. Even if you don't see something for you right away. And I have been subscribed to this email for almost a decade. It took about that long for me to get a really successful opportunity, but I never looked at every single email. I only see them every Every once in a while, I don't always have time to read them. So I got very, very lucky. You will get luckier if you pay attention and even more lucky if you answer the question that's being asked. Remember, you may not be the story and that is okay. Your story is going to make their story even better. The third P is to present. First, you've really got to start from the beginning. If you see a potential press feature that you want to be a part of, why do you want to be a part of it? What is your goal? They're more than willing to plug you if you are a legitimate expert on some level, but it has to make sense for the story. So why are you going to get something out of this? Why is this going to be successful for you? But even more so, why are you the person 
for it. When it comes to being a part of this piece, you want to emulate the professional that you want to be seen for once you've been a part of the story. Bianca, raspberries when I'm talking about being a professional, really? So remember why you wanna be a part of this story, who you want to be seen as and emulate that person by giving your best account of what someone needs to know in this segment. So before you go on TV, they brief you on all the pro tips, but really important, know what you're going to look like as the professional you want to emulate in the clothes that you choose. They will tell you not to wear a lot of patterns. They will tell you not to wear a lot of logos. Do follow all those rules, but also know what are you gonna look like when you're sitting down? How is it going to look and how do you feel in it? And does it feel like who you want people to know you as? To rest for the job you want, as they say. And also don't forget to smile. The camera is always on, whether you're talking or not. And you just don't know when they're going to snag a photo of you or capture a certain moment of you and your eyes and your mouth and your reactions to things. Just remember what you want to look like in those moments. Okay, Bianca wanted to be a part of the rest of this video. Huh. The fourth P is to parlay. Don't just take a selfie and leave. Make the most of the opportunity that you get so that you can continue to see more come your way. It's one thing to be like, look ma, I'm on TV. <laughs> it's another thing to look at it like a producer would. If this segment was good enough for a feature, then how can you continue to share those ideas in other places that have your name on it? But now you have the link to point back to, the footage that was captured to help, <laughs> to help you weigh in on why it's important for people to know and why you're a credible source. And as Christina would say, repurpose, repurpose, repurpose. If you got the opportunity, then show people you got the opportunity and let it be the way that you communicate to other outlets that you should be brought on for their next segment, because clearly you're a trusted resource, right? <laughs> Those are the four P's of getting press. I would love to hear your thoughts in the comments down below. And if you'd like to watch my segment on the Tamron Hall Show, I will link to that as well. That's all for today. Thank you so much for tuning in. I appreciate it. As always, remember, subscribe for good vibes, kiss the ones you love, Mwah! and go after the life you want. Cheers. Do 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 do.